Hey, what's going on, people? Patrick here, coming at you with the latest buzzword that's going around in the gun community, and that is the Glock 43X. All right, so take a good look at that, and I know there's hundreds of videos probably already out there on it. Now, my particular one, I actually paint the front side. I do that on most of mine. All right, so there's a quick look at it. This comes with two 10-round magazines. All right. And that's what we pretty much get with the, with the Glock on this one. All right, now, what's the big deal with this? Well, it's a lot thinner than your Glock 26, and it's thinner than your Glock 19, all right? And it's about the same size as the regular Glock 43, but you have a longer grip. So you can actually get your hand on it without putting a pinky extension or anything on there. So that's what's great about it, all right? I went to the range today, put about 150 rounds through it, mostly Winchester white box, um, but I did mix it up with uh, 147 grain HST, Federal HSTs. Um, I also uh, ran into some some Jesse James uh, hollow points I had got on sale, you know, and uh, tried those two just to see if it would jam it up, and everything ran flawlessly. So I give that to Glock. Now, most people know I'm not a big Glock fan because I think there's a lot of other handguns out there that you get more bang for your buck. Yeah, like this particular one is going for 450 plus the tax and everything. Um, and they give you the shittiest sights I think that they can give you, all right? And these plastic sights, these use sight, I hate, all right? They usually break. Um, now, yes, you can upgrade uh, to the Glock night sight, which is, I think, like another $50, $60, $75. $75 to upgrade to that. And I think it's another 100 if you want to go with the Ameriglows. Okay, now, again, now you're jumping into other ranges just to get the decent set of sights in this thing. Okay, but let's do some quick comparisons here. All right, so let's bring in the Springfield. I'm going to take this out. XDS. Now, this particular one is the Mod 2 version, and it comes with the fiber optic sights. Now, that's their basic one. Now, they, like Glock, can upgrade you for extra money. Um, so you can get the, I, I believe it's also Ameriglow night sights on it if you want. But the fiber optic on this is pretty good for basic sights. I think it's great. All right, um, let's do a little size comparison here. And both of them don't have the mags in, both of them have been checked. So let's line these suckers up. Barrel length, they're about the same. All right, now let's go thickness. Let's see what we got here. I would actually say the XDS is a hair slimmer. Um, on the grip, it's definitely slimmer. Um, on the slide, it's just a little bit slimmer. Okay, now, magazine capacity. Okay, so the XDS comes with the seven round with the pinky extension on it. Still a little bit shorter than the Glock with the 10 round. Let's put the mag in the Glock so we make this fair. All right, now, when I hold this in my hand, now, one thing I like about the Springfield is it's got a nice undercut, all right, but it's still, I'm squeezing my fingers in there in order to get all of them on that grip, as you can see there, okay? Now, the Glock, I have no problem getting my hand on it, okay? Now, let's drop that mag out. Now, they do make an eight round magazine, which I bought separately, if I put it in the right way, okay. So that's eight rounds and 10 rounds. They're pretty much dead even as far as height goes. All right, so eight rounds and 10 rounds, dead even. Let's drop that out. Now, they do give you a nine round magazine that comes along with that seven. And now, let's spin this around the other way. You can see with the nine rounder, I'm actually going to pull the camera up a little. There is about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch difference on it. And that's nine rounds, and this is ten. Okay, now, this grip size with the nine round in it, to me, now you're getting into the full size grip. Okay, so you might as well just go with a, a regular uh, Glock 19, or like for me, the Beretta Centurion, and get the extra rounds. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna throw another one in here for the mix. 
Here is my Ruger officer size, 1911 in 9 millimeter. Let's compare that to the Glock. Okay, this is eight rounds. All right, now if I line it up back to back, they're about the same lengthwise. And all the guns are dirty right now because I literally just got back from the range. Um, and again, this is eight rounds, this is 10 rounds, right? Now the beaver tail does stick out a little bit further so it makes it a little bit more printing. Okay, this also has a rounded butt on it there. So you can see that, but the beaver tail does stick out. All right, <clears throat> now, what shoots better? This Ruger, okay? Um, this Ruger 1911 officer, you can shoot it all day, it just shoots fantastic, all right? Um, the Glock, like I said, after I put over 100 rounds through it, right? It is a little bit snappy, especially compared to this, right? But it's not that bad, okay? Now, just to kind of throw things off, here is my Beretta Centurion. Let's put that up there. It's not that much of a difference, actually, when you look at it. Okay, so this is 15 rounds. This is 10. They're pretty damn close. All right? Now, of course, the... Let's move it back so we're lined up. Okay, so the slide is longer. And the Beretta is definitely fatter. All right? Definitely fatter. It's almost... Probably almost twice the size and thickness. Okay, um, again, great handgun, love it, but for ease of carry, this might be a little bit easier to carry, all right? This, I think, with the magazine, I think is 18 ounces, all right? Uh, this with the seven round magazine, I believe is 21 ounces. This is 28 ounces with the magazine, empty magazines. So there's a couple options and a couple comparisons size-wise just to give you the, an idea of uh, the new 43X buzzword handgun that's out there. You know, and this way you guys can compare it one to another, the size, especially to the XDS, which is very popular right now also. And also I, I always love to measure it up against a 1911 because to me it's nothing that feels better in the hand than a 1911. All right, but you just got to deal with a little bit of weight. But again, this is eight rounds. This is 10. Okay. All right, there you go. Any questions or comments, please leave it below. I'll try to answer you as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please subscribe.